Vaccine hesitancy is taking on some heightened concern here in North Texas as the more contagious Delta variant continues to spread hospitalizations that were once near zero. They are again on the rise. Our Robbie Owens reporting from Dallas on the sharp drop in vaccine demand and what healthcare leaders see as the inevitable consequences. From miles long lines at the Fair Park vaccination hub in January to deserted parking lots in advance of its Saturday close it would appear that the battle against COVID has ended. Right now, our vaccination rate is a little less than 50%. That's not good enough. It's not good enough. Consequently, Dr. Joseph Chang, Parkland's chief medical officer, says hospitalizations are once again on the rise. I'm starting to be much more concerned than I was even two weeks ago, Robbie. This comes four months after the public hospital was able to close its COVID unit. How happy were we when we saw the numbers go down so quickly into almost zero levels? And now to see it creep back up it, it is really disheartening. Parkland is not yet preparing to reopen the COVID unit, but leaders admit they're worried. Over 99% of our COVID admissions have not been vaccinated. It's dramatic, it's stark, it is undeniable. And patients are getting sicker. The number of critically ill COVID patients in area hospitals has more than doubled all within the past month. That's according to the DFW Hospital Council. What can we do to convince those that still remain hesitant, even in the face of science, even in the face of evidence, even in the face of the data that says you are still at risk? It's really those that are around you that have personal testimony about their experience with the vaccine. So I would ask all of us to go out and find our friends and family, because we all have them, tell them how good you feel about being protected. In Dallas, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News. And